just for inviting me to present uh, our experience of TABI in Nepal. And thank you, Dr. Pradeep, for uh, setting the baseline for me. Um, so we all know about the first TABI in 2002. Let's see, TABI in South Asia, it was first started in India in 2011, followed by in Pakistan, it was in 2015. Bangladesh, congratulations to you. You started pretty early in 2017, July. And in Sri Lanka, it was in 2018, September. Afghanistan, uh, they did their first TABI in 2000. 2021 and Maldives 2022 February and we did only on 2022 February. We are the last South Asian country to introduce TAVI uh, but we are almost apart from India and Pakistan we are almost on the same level. I'll share it in my experience. So are we doing enough TAVI just like it's an example this is the data from the this uh, left hand side India Val disease statistics they, based upon the same uh, percentage. Actually, we should be doing quite nearly five or five thousand tabi in Nepal. But the thing is, we have done only twenty eight. Said Gangala Nestor Heart Center, the, the place where I work, we did, we have done twenty one cases in two years time. Manmohan Kardeshwar is a uh, government institute. They have done three. Norwich. It's a private institute, they have done two, Hams Hospital one, Manipal Teaching Hospital one. And they have, uh, we, our most commonly used valve is the MyVal because of the financial reason, followed by Metronix. We have even used Abbott and Edward also. The experience of uh, uh, Tabby in my center, all of this case was done uh, by my team. So, so far we have done 21 cases, nine male and 12 female, age range from 57 years to 90 years. We have used uh, MyVal in most of our cases, followed by Ebloat, Metronix, and uh, Abbott two cases, and Sapien one case. So this is the first case we have done in February 2022. 81 years old female, diagnosed as severe AS, was offered surgery in the private hospital, and patient relative Googled about the TABI, and they came to me and asked for TABI. They asked me whether you can do a TABI on my mother or not. So we evaluate the case, case and we did the uh, tab with the Evolute platform and she came for two years follow up recently and she is doing pretty well. So after the first tab, news of the first tab in the country was well covered by the TV, press and social media. So we get referral from outside Kathmandu. So this is the second case, 90 years old gentleman referred for tabby. So this is the second case we did uh, uh, in this 90 years old gentleman and he completed two years follow-up without any symptoms. And this is the case number three, 76 year old male COPD admitted in other private hospital. There was the ECG change, he was admit because, admitted in that hospital because of the pulmonary edema. This was the ECG, the uh, ECG maybe it's a recent MI or old MI and uh, they have mentioned on the right hand side, you can see explain about the tower. They advise him for CABG and AVR because he had some lesion. I don't know, it will get paid or not. Sorry, sorry. So there was a lesion, total occlusion in LAD and there was a lesion in RCA. So he was, he had plenty of option. LAD, PCI, if it is viable and PCI to the RCA and TAVI, LAD viable, CABG plus a AVR, it will be cheaper for them. PCI to LAD and RCA followed by TAVI and if PCI is not successful and sent for CABG or AVR. So we did the CT analysis and it was suitable for uh, tower. So what we did is we, it won't get paid. I don't know. So the thing is we did PCI of LAD and RCA and then plant for TAVI. But what I mean is at the last final, uh, just one week before the tower, we did echocardiogram and he, we found a LV apex clot. That is a uh, contraindication for tower. So we can do it with a sentinel device, but the thing is it will add cost. So what we decide is we do warfarinization for four months and when, once the clot dissolves or disappears, then we plan for this tabby. And we even did, because of this uh, good result, patients are coming for TAVI 
and this is a case of 70 years old male diagnosed as severe AS and coronary artery disease, triple vessel disease. Actually, we gave them the option of CABG and AVR, but they denied. Even they met with the surgeon and the surgeon referred back to us. So we did PCI first of all the three arteries and then we did the TAVI with the MyVal. Like same case like uh, Dr. Pradeep, there was a case of uh, 77 years old male. He was also referred for tower and his LC height is only 11.3. So what we did is we thought that the L, 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 uh, lift system may get occluded during the uh, tower. So what we, we, what we did is we did a, a chimney stent. We put a stent in the left main, just LED. And if something happens to the left main, just we'll put a, pull, pull the stent and do the stenting. So, and this is the case we did recently. One of the complex cases we have done 75 years old gentleman, sinus rhythm, had low EF, very calcified aortic valve, low flow, low gradient, severe AS, he was low, uh, global LVL hyperkinesia, dilated LV, and we even did a Dobie stress, coronary angiogram was normal, we did a proper CT analysis, and we planned for uh, uh, TAVI. You can see in the annulus, in the CT images in annulus, it was calcified, and the, calc uh, the calcified, uh, calcification even extend into LBOT, and you can e even see in the fluoro images the calcium. It was a horizontal aorta. So it was a challenging case because it's a, it's a bicuspid aortic valve. It has a lot of issue. Annual calcification extend into LBOT. It can cause annular rupture, PVR, and pacemaker. Horizontal aorta, de delivery of the device is pretty difficult. We can choose our TAVI valve based upon in this case, because of the horizontal, we should go for a balloon expandable uh, tower. But the thing is, there is a, an aortic endless calcification, then the choice will be uh, self expanding valve. We went for a balloon expand, uh, expandable valve. We did a, so this is the result, and he ended up with a mean gradient of three milliliter mercury. She compl uh, he completed two months of follow-up follow -up and he's doing pretty well. So how TAVI started in Nepal? We came to know about TAVI uh, being done in the South Asian country. As you know, we are the last to start. And a lot of talks on TAVI at different conferences. We came to know about the few patients went abroad for TAVI, especially they go to India. So what were the challenges for the first case? It was a cost, easily available in the neighboring country, and they are very experienced. Hardware was the issue. Operators, we don't have uh, independent operators in the country, so we need to bring the proctors, training of the staff. So, easy accessibility of the experience center in neighboring country is the real challenge, expertise, and low level of experience compared to the uh, center nearby and the cost of the therapy. So, this is the case. Uh, I'll show, say this is just the last slide. So, this is the case I did uh, BA. So, Dr. Chandravan, you are, your time is over. So, can you give one minute, please? You can get... Just a single slide, I think. Yeah. In conclusion, TAVI program is, is in the initial phase uh, in Nepal as in uh, Bangladesh, and we'll be doing more TAVI in the future. We have two cases lined up for next week. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very Dr. much. Chandravan, you have got a great experience.